Well, a year of challenging weather for farmers along the eastern seaboard continues into 2019. RFD-TV's Sarah Mott connects with a local ag leader to hear what efforts are being made to help farmers at the state level. Well, farmers from across the country are in town for NASDAQ's Winter Policy Conference, and some of them come from a little bit nearer. We're joined by Delaware Secretary of Agriculture, Michael Skews. Michael, give us a little update. What happened in agriculture in 2018? What's the outlook for 2019? Well, we're hoping the outlook for 2019 is much, much better than it was in 2018. Uh, the state of Delaware, in fact, the Mid-Atlantic region south, uh, just had tremendous amounts of rain. Uh, in the state of Delaware, parts of our state had 75 inches of rain. Normal precipitation is about 42 inches and we got it very early. A lot of the crops that were planted in 2018 drowned out uh, and then uh, it was too late to replant some of the crops. Our, our vegetable crops got hit very hard. Then we had five weeks of drought and extreme high temperatures and then the last week of July we started getting the heavy rains again which again had a major impact on the vegetable crops, fruit crops uh, and uh, really caused some havoc during the harvest so uh, it was very difficult for anybody regardless of what you produced in Delaware to uh, to have a good year in 2018. We're more optimistic this year although so far in 2019 it's continued to rain so we're we're hoping that we can turn that off so that the uh, producers can get uh, fertilizer and nitrogen on their small grains and start some of the field work in the very near future. Do you expect any kind of shifts this year especially with uncertainty around trade and markets do you expect kind of 2018 to look pretty or 2019 to look pretty similar to 2018? Uh, you know that that's a really good question and and still there's a great deal of uncertainty with our producers even at this point in time in the year uh, about what they're going to do. Uh, the the, t the trade talks that are taking place right now will have a major impact uh, on on prices for several of our commodities. When you're watching things like Farm Bill implementation like some of the regulatory rules that are being written right now anything that you're keeping a particular eye on? Uh, several things. Uh, uh, there's a lot of interest in hemp today. Uh, so we're looking forward to uh, USDA uh, putting the rule in place to implement uh, that provision in the Farm Bill. Uh, the conservation programs are extremely important. Uh, the ASEP, the Agriculture Conservation Easement Program, is uh, very important. Uh, some changes in that to simplify that process. Of course, a huge increase in the funding from $200 million to $450 million. Uh, that's a big deal. So we are, we're looking very closely at, the, again, the conservation programs, the hemp, and some other areas for implementation. So we're we're looking forward to USDA giving us a timeline on some when some of these things are going to happen. We'll have more updates from here at NASDA's uh, Winter Policy Conference in Washington. Until then, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Sarah. Now, prior to his latest tenure as the head of the Delaware Department of Agriculture, Secretary Skews was the acting deputy director at the USDA. Well, meteorologist Tim Rollins.